um, it's several months later now. Months and months have gone by. And I'm still not able to do anything about the trim that I wanted to do for the fridge door. And as you see, my cupboards there, they're golden oak, regular golden oak. And that's what I thought I was ordering for this wood here. But if you see and you take a good look at it, you can see how it's just two different tones. And I guess as far as if I don't do anything to the fridge, it kind of works. It's kind of tolerable. It's not near as dark as the fake oak paneling that was on the old fridge. And that was even lighter. It didn't go either. So, I mean, it's really, really, really awful. And when I put this up, it just looks really cheap, really terrible. Um, I got a handyman. I'll show you here. I got a handyman. So like I'm just putting it in place it's not exactly where it's supposed to be to actually cut this and he did a great job he did the top and the bottom he did a great job getting the corners lined up it's not a trapezoid shape it's an actual rectangle that matches the fridge in my measurements and I got it painted um, primed and painted with this nice gold paint I mean it would be very pretty as you can see when I put it up next to the cabinet it's very pretty but up against this, it really looks cheap. I, you got the cabinets in golden oak. Evidently, this is like white oak. And I thought it was just regular golden oak. Otherwise, I would have never ordered the wood. So the whole reason I went with oak is because I didn't want to have to go with stains because it's really expensive to ship a no VOC stain out. I actually found this place. Um, I think they're in the northern Midwest somewhere. They're supposed to be, I guess, I don't know what's going on, but um, when I ordered, I guess they were stopping shipping, and um, they agreed to, like, ship me some stain. So they're shipping me, like, a golden oak stain. So it should be closer to that. And it's a no VOC, non-toxic. It's actually probably a better product than, like, my sealer. And then I can put the sealer back on. Because the sealer, when the sealer went on it, it was supposed to be darker. And this is basically... I've sanded it, um, but I couldn't even see where I was, because, you know, um, basically, I have a really good sanding block that just took it right off. It was no difference in color to what the sealer didn't, like, darken it and make it look like that or anything. So, uh, basically, what I'm doing is waiting to stain it to get it closer to the color of the cupboard and then hopefully get this put on. So that's the status on the fridge thing. It's actually a lot trickier trying to get like real wood fridge panels to match than I thought. So it's taken a lot more um, you know, homework and looking around and figuring things out. Okay, um, what I have done is I got this uh, Duratone, Duratone product, Safe Coat. No VOCs, non-toxic, uh, golden oak. And it got put on here. It was very hard because the sanding off the old stuff, in order to sand off all the old stuff, I'd have to just, the sand wood, paper would, uh, or the sanding block would have to just sand away all the wood completely. Because the original sealer soaked into the wood in places and didn't in others. So it was very hard to get the uh, stain on. And the first coat of sealer is finally finished after the stain is on. And then it's going to get another coat of sealer and then the trim can be put on. I think the trim will hide a lot of the imperfections. It is kind of, you know, not the way I really wanted it to look in the end because so much was done and the wood was messed with so much trying to get the color um, when I thought I was getting golden oak I ended up with white oak so it needed to some way match the cabinets where it didn't look like cheap and icky if I put the trim on or out of place so this is with the stain and one coat of sealer so it actually looks pretty good I think It's like a much, much, as you can see, better match. Okay, so 
basically what happened is we've got it so that one person helped me get the top on using a liquid nail silicone and she did it at the bottom but it only stuck on the sides so then when the handyman tried it he could not get we couldn't get it off so we used regular liquid nails at the top and the bottom but it didn't work at the bottom the top there is secure so for the bottom probably what's going to happen is E6000 to see if that'll do on the bottom because super glue under the pieces that didn't adhere will not work because super glue this soaks into wood so and being that we couldn't get it off it couldn't be primed on the back side so this is it it definitely looks a lot lot better it Putting the trim on makes it look even. You don't see the imperfections. The color matches good. It's got mylar behind the wood paneling to further insulate the doors from the heat. And the it looks just really much, much better. And it doesn't look like so much like a crummy RV fridge. So, if you like, hit like, subscribe, share, and stay tuned for more videos.